Hello witches, it's Kristen again. I'm still on my broom making journey today. Um, this one I think is my favorite so far, just because of the birch that it's on. This is just a really heavy, sturdy, gorgeous piece of birch. Um, if I hadn't used it for this, I definitely would have wanted to use it for something else. Um, I'm probably going to carve some runes into it because um, I think I'm going to keep this one for myself. Um, it's kind of short and stubby and I'm not sure what um, I'm going to add to it yet. My workstation is still a mess. Um, I'm going to get far less brooms out of this than I thought I was, but, um, I really wish you could see how pretty this birch is, but, um, the lighting kind of sucks right now, but it's a really lovely piece of birch. I don't know why anybody would have thrown it away there. Um, next to my house, I have like this wooded area. You can see it out the window. And um, it's sort of a piece of property in between my house and the house next door. And it's too small to be buildable. And people continuously leave um, like yard clippings and branches and things like that there. Which for me is awesome because I always find cool things that people have dug up and thrown away. That to a witch is a great find. Have my incense going. Um, the house smells like um, an old man's pipe is what my husband always says when I burn this particular incense. I love it. It does actually kind of smell like an old man's pipe. It's a delicious smell. I love it. Um, but I'm still going crazy here making all kinds of things. Um, I'm probably not going to use all of this today because I'm starting to lose my wind. Um, this is broom number three. For today I've been working on brooms all day um, one of them I have hung up here for now maybe I will hang this one as well but my room is kind of being taken over by brooms at this point I have them all over the place I have mine over there I have another one up there this one here this one and a little tiny cinnamon one up there. So my room is kind of overtaken by brooms. So um, I'm not sure. I might open up an Etsy shop or something and sell brooms and wreaths. Um, my husband recently got a whole bunch of grapevines that he pulled down from a tree that had fallen. And he saved all the grapevines for me so that I can make my wreaths. And so forth. If you guys might like to see me do something like that, let me know. I don't know. I'm not always very crafty, but when I get crafty, I kind of go on a whole spree of making things, and then I just kind of stop. I'll make like a million wreaths, and then I'll go on to yeah. something else. I get on these like obsessive kicks and do something for a while, a couple months, and then I never do it again. But my witchy stuff, I think I will always do. I always have. I kind of take breaks once in a while, but I always go back to it. So I hope you enjoy seeing my little brooms that I'm making. And um, maybe I will inspire some of you to try making some on your own. All right. Merry part, guys. Bye.